Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic for our second video of the day. And uh, first things first, the Kickstarter's got off to an amazing beginning. Uh, first couple of days and we're well past the uh, initial target. We've reached one of the stretch targets as I record this and moving on towards the, the second stretch goal and, and indeed the third, which will between them release or commit us to commissioning loads of new puzzles for the book and uh, a new hunt maybe even if we get that far so thank you very much do go down to the description field and uh, click on the kickstarter link if you haven't gone there and supported the project uh, we are looking forward to creating this book for you i have to say now next um, i do need to apologize for my audio yesterday i do have a lovely microphone that is very adequate for the job but unfortunately something went wrong with my failing to plug it in so definitely user error um what was that mnemonic for the error is between the chair and the screen i can't remember but that was very applicable um now today's puzzle is a mix of sandwich and thermo but not a normal one at all so this is different um and i will explain it now um, what we have here is a sandwich of the thermo Sudoku. So the clues outside the grid are sandwich clues of a sort. Actually, let's start with the thermos. They're regular thermos, so they must increase from the bulb to the end. That's standard thermo rule, and it does apply here. However, the numbers outside the grid are not regular sandwich clues applying to the row, they are instead applying to the thermo that begins in that row. So you'll see that the nine thermo bulbs, there is one in each row. And this 16 clue at the top applies to this thermo. And it's saying the digits sandwiched on the thermo between the bulb and the end add up to 16. So it's taking all the kind of middle digits on the thermo between one end and the other and saying what do they add up to so that 16 applies to this the first nine applies to that this 19 applies to this thermo that nine applies to that so that's what we've got in this puzzle um, it's from Justin Smart who's come up with this idea and created this to to make it work I'm very much looking forward to it do give it a try on the link below the video before watching my solve and I'm gonna have a go now so how do we begin this? Um, ah, yes, okay, this nine thermo that I just highlighted last, that's very useful because the numbers on the thermo, the numbers that it's adding up are these three numbers and they can't be one or nine clearly. So it's a bit like a regular sandwich sum. They must be made of the numbers from two to eight. Now they must, there's three of them and they can't include one, so they must be two, three, and four. And because this acts like a regular uh, thermo, we know they must be in that order. And we know that the thermo must begin with a one in this case. So that's useful. Ah, even better maybe, this six. Now there's only one cell that that's adding up, so that's obviously six. Uh, the number before it must be now two, three, four or five, and the number after it's seven, eight or nine, by thermo rules. So I think it's a matter of finding which thermos are of a length to be most helpful. And I may have just found the two that are. That's irritating, okay. Well, this one's good though, I think as well, to an extent. Now, nine is the most common sum. It's adding two different cells but there are some restrictions now. It can't be adding one and eight because one couldn't be uh, before the bulb on the thermo. Oh, sorry, it couldn't be after the bulb on the thermo. It can't be adding three and six because they would have to appear in the order three, six. Both of those are ruled out. So this is either two, seven or four, five to make the nine. Um, Ah, and it can't be a two because that would put a one here and we've already got a one in the column. So it's four, five, which is the least helpful solution in that it allows most beginnings and endings on the thermo, but at least it 
replaces another thermo. So we've done that nine, we've done that nine, we've done that six. Not much else we can do with those. Um, um, is 16 a small number? Maybe now. This can't be three here. In fact, yes, this number has to be at least five now. So three, six, seven is possible. No, I don't know. That's that's maybe not the place to keep going. This one's interesting. Maybe three cells to make 19 on this thermo here. Um, now that means they have to be quite high. Eight, seven would be the maximum values there with a four. I think then they have to be either four, seven, eight or five, six, eight. I think that's the only ways to make 19 from three digits of which the highest can be eight. So that must be an eight there. That means the thermo finishes with a nine. Hmm. Now maybe if some regular thermo rules will start applying. Where is two in this box, for instance? Only in one of those two cells, surely. Uh, it can't be there or there because they're too far along thermos. So that's going to put two in one of those two. Again, that's too far along a thermo to be a two. I don't know, can we get anything done with this? Four cells to make 19 is not very helpful, I don't think. Three to make 14 is not great. Four to make 22, again, average very close to five. And here, four to make 19. Maybe column one with its three cells there that add up to 16. These four add up to 19. That's 35. No, I don't know how to use that. Um, okay, let's go back to these three adding up to 16 now. What could they be if they started with, let's say if they ended with an eight, then these two would add up to five. So it could be two, six, eight, or three, five, eight. If this was a seven, the other two would have to add up to nine. They'd either have to be three, six, or four, five, which is impossible. Three, six is possible, but these are the only possibilities on this 16 thermo, I believe. And that's great because if this is seven or eight, the number of after it on the thermo must be eight or nine. Now we have a seven, eight, nine triple. So we have a two, three, four triple below it. Mm, we have a two, three pair up here. Which of these things is most useful? One or two at the beginning of the thermo. That presumably can't be any higher than, say, three. If that was a four, you'd have five, six, seven, eight. That's too much for 22. So if it was a three, four, five, six, seven, exactly 22. So that is possible, but that means that we've got a one, two, three triple in column one. That makes this cell a four. That's quite handy. Um, now, 19 for these four. Actually, maybe the thing to do is to consider that's a 19 sum, okay. Take away two or three and it's either 16 or 17. Plus the 16 here is either 32 or 33. The other, the other three cells have to add up to 12 or 13. Oh. There are various ways of doing that, annoyingly. No, that wasn't quite as helpful as I'd hoped. Let's take the two out of the corner. We've got a two, three pair. So that's one or two at the beginning of the thermo. 
Now these have to be from five, six, seven, and from six, seven, eight. Now what makes nineteen? For the maximums would be twenty-two. The minimums would be seventeen. Oh, that's frustrating. There's not much use in that to me. So the nine though in column one, yes, there's only one spot for that. That's got to be here. Um, which isn't all that helpful, but nonetheless, it does determine itself. Ah, that is six or seven. Now we've got eight and nine in the box. Ah, two and three are a pair, so those aren't two. So two is here. That makes this a one. That means this isn't a one. Um, oh, we're nearly getting somewhere. Four, three, nine, eight. So this has to be one or two. It couldn't be as many as five for this thermo. Now, if this wasn't a two, it would have to be at least a five, and that's too much. Five, six, seven, eight would be 22. So that is a two, and that's one. This is five or seven. This is five, six or seven. Now, 19 from 2 and these 3, don't know, but I do know that this can't be a 2 now, clearly. So 2 is here in the row. These add up to 11, I still can't determine which they are. Now, okay, but we can't use 5 here. Six and seven would be too many. We would go far too high. So this cell is three or four. Can this be a six? 13, 15, yeah, two, four, six, seven, or two, three, six, eight would do it. So that can certainly be a six. Can it be a four though? No, two, three, four would be nine. That would have to be a 10. So this isn't a four. So it's at least six or it can't be higher than seven for the thermo. That gives us a six, seven pair. So that makes this one an eight. I do like the way this works together. Right, so these two add up to eight for that 16 total. And that's not resolved. This is a seven though. Eight, five, one, two, six, seven. These are from three, four, and nine. Now three and six would be nine. That would leave a 10 here, impossible. Ah. Four, seven, eight. Oh no, I've forgotten the two here, right. Two, three, and six would be 11. That would need an eight here, which is certainly possible and indeed looks likely. Um, two, four, and seven, the maximum of those values, seven, 11, 13 would need a six here, which is impossible for the thermo. I don't think even two, three, seven works. Five, 12, that would need another seven. Right, so it is two, three, six, Eight. That's the only way to do this now. So that is a complete thermo, which obviously finishes in a nine. Um, this is now a seven, 15. So that's a four to make that 19 work. So I think we haven't quite finished this one. But other than that, we've done all the thermos in the top half of the grid down to this one. Um, what do we know? Two, three pair, that's five or six. Ah, this can't be eight anymore. Ooh, and this has just got much more restricted. So we're looking for a 19 total. Six, five, and four, and two would be 17 minimum. Three, four, six, seven would be 20 maximum. So we could only take one off three, four, six, seven which we could do either by two, four, five, seven, or no, by three, four, five, seven, or two, four, six, seven. Either way, this is a seven, I think. Oh yeah, the other way of seeing that is that there's a five, six pair there. Not that clever, Never mind. Um, so yeah, those still to be resolved. And then we've got these last two at the bottom that we haven't even begun to try yet. Uh, ha, ha. 
2 is in one of those two cells because of these 2s and it can't be that far along a thermo. 6, 8, 9, 2, 3, 4. 4 and 4, right. That's, oh yeah, look, I've got a 4 there and a 9 sitting, I mean a 4 possibility sitting above it. Sorry about that. That's 1 or 6. This is 1, 6 or 7. 4, 6, 3, 2, 8, 9. So 7 is down in one of these cells. Yes, yeah, sorry, that 7 has made that into an 8. So 7's in one of those. This is 1 or 5. The This is 1 or 5 as well. 3 is here in row 5. There. That's 1 or 6, and that's from 1, 5 or 6. All right, I'm really just hedging around before moving down to the bottom and trying to figure these ones out. Now, 22, maybe that's the place to start. If this was a 3, this would have to go 4, 5, 6, 7, 9. I'm going to just pencil mark those in as possibilities. Uh, and 4, 4 up to 7 is 22. But if that was 2, we have a bit more freedom. We can take 1 off down the end. 3, 5, 6, 8, would it have to be that? Or again, 4, 5, 6, 7 with 9. I think, yeah, if you take 1 off and add 1 on, you're going to have to go 3... Oh, you could add two on, yeah. So I think all of these are possibles. This, this though, can never be less than seven. That can't be six, or you'd never get up to 22. Therefore, this has to be more than seven, and it can't be eight. So that is a definite nine. Um, ah, and these can't be nine by thermo. Oh, no, that one can be nine. It's on the end. So 9 is on one of those two cells in box 9. And one of those two cells in box 7. Ah, okay, 9's not providing the key. And lots of possibilities still here. So maybe I'm going to have to go with this 14 that's looked so unhelpful for so long. Right, um, this number, let's start here. It can't be a 2 or a 4. So, it could be 3 or 5. How could it be 5? Three numbers, including 2 higher than 5, adding up to 14. That doesn't make sense. No, nowhere near. So, 3 there. Then these two add up to 11. They can be either 4, 7 or 5, 6 again. In one of those conformations, this is now either 8 or 9. We've got an 8, 9 pair in the row. This is one or two. We've also got a four, five pair in the row. That seven is saying this is a six. I should have seen that ages ago. Um, and this is also one or two, therefore. We've got a four, five pair, an eight, nine pair, seven, six, three in the row, two up there. This is a one. So that's two. That one means that's a six. That's a five. Finishes the center box. That finishes box, yeah, box two is finished as well. We've got three and seven to go in there, four and eight to go in there. This we are determined as a five. That fixes the six on this thermo, 10, 17, that's a two to make 19. So three there, that makes a one at the start. Um, Yes, now this, that 6 has resolved this as a 7-4 pair, so that was a useful set. Now 11 there, I still don't know whether this is 3-8 or 4-7. I do, because that can't be 4 anymore. Right, so 3-8. Sorry, I have a feeling that you will be very well aware that I have missed a ton of stuff as I've gone through this. But there we go, we can only do our best. And that is the problem with the live solve. Now, one, nine, six, eight, that's all working. Four, eight, and three to go in at the top must be like that. That's a six. 
Um, there's a five to finish the row. One and seven there. That eight four pair is determined. So is the seven three pair. Two and nine there. That's now an eight. One five six down here. And five seven nine at the top. In that order indeed. So there we go, that is the solution to Justin Smart's intriguing take on thermo sandwiches, um, a form of picnic Sudoku effectively. So thank you very much for watching, hope you enjoyed the puzzle. Uh, do hope to see you next time on Cranking the Cryptic, do please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and lovely to see you, thanks for watching, bye for now.